Hey guys, welcome back to the Skills with Arlo channel. This week I'm going to be attempting to make ice cream. Um, and so I did this once when I was maybe like 7 or 8. Um, and so the first pickup I had were the ingredients in this recipe. This recipe called for more powdered milk than sugar. And it had both corn syrup and corn starch. I, I was unsure about This first batch didn't go very well. It wasn't thick enough because I didn't let it sit for long enough. This one, the density was a bit better. Um, it still seemed clumpier than it should have been. I made a peanut butter one. Um, and so then I prepared the Oreo one next. And so what I'm doing is I'm preparing all of the, I'll say batters for lack of a better word, um, and then putting them in the fridge to cool before I put them in the ice cream maker fall, which I'll get to later. Um, and so this one, I made cookies and cream, which is my personal favorite ice cream flavor. Um, and so this one also, the consistency seems a little better than the vanilla. Um, and so now we're moving on to the ice cream ball. And so I'd already been having issues with the first bit because it was way too hot and I was cooking stuff on the stove and it was 106 degrees outside. And so now for this ice cream ball, what you do you put in all the ice and you put in the salt to get it to a lower freezing temperature and then you go and you have to roll around the ball to like shake it up but you can't like use a beater or anything it has to be like rolled and so what I'm doing here is I'm making the peanut butter one first putting in this oatmeal looking batter um, and then going out into the 106 degree heat for like 10 minutes just to pick around this heavy plastic thing, um, and it just is awful, um, just walking around the yard, I mean, it, it doesn't sound that bad, it was, it wasn't that bad, I was already tired, um, and so, get back inside, we look, it's not, it doesn't look like ice cream really, the sides sort of have frozen up, um, I don't know if you can see, I was like, I'm getting a bit more solid stuff in the sides, still not great, so now I'm just try the Oreo one. So put the crushed Oreos in, put the um, batter in, and then we have to go back outside and kick the ball around again, which I'm not going to show because it's the exact same thing as before. Um, and then this time uh, the ball got really dirty because I'm obviously rolling it around the yard. Um, and then open it up and this one was about about the same as the peanut butter one a little more stuck to the size this time so that's good you see I'm getting a little bit of a ball um and then I mean I was just really done at this point it was super hot um and I sort of so here's the vanilla one you can see it's much thinner because I didn't let it thicken in for long enough okay so this is the worst video ever made. It's been awful, miserable. It's too hot for this, even though I'm making ice cream. Um, I'm never going to question overpriced ice cream again. Uh, and I'm probably never going to make ice cream again. So, yeah. This one's going to turn out awful, because the beginning of it was bad. You know, I don't have enough ice. So, I don't even know why I'm doing this. Um, so, as you can tell, it was very upset with that. The vanilla actually didn't come out as awful as I was expecting it to, but then we sat down to have some dessert after dinner, I mean, my family, and every single one of them, for the, for the, um, for this one and the peanut butter one, it tasted, like, starchy and gummy, and then the vanilla one tasted like powdered milk, and it, it was just a bad experience overall. We're thinking about getting a little ice cream machine so that it's not as painful. But I hope you guys enjoyed that video more than I did. Um, if you did, make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.